Recently, Microsoft filed a patent on digitally reincarnating people as chatbots. Computer programs that are designed to carry conversations with real people. Imagine lots of robots having lots of conversations with lots of people until eventually they can kind of imitate those conversations and make it feel like you're talking to a real person. What's unique about Microsoft's patent though is that they're actually intending on creating chatbots that imitate specific people like your mom or your cousin or historical figure or you. These chatbots would imitate specific people by using social data, like images, voice data, messages, social media posts, or even written letters. But what's really, really interesting about this, though, is that this means that Microsoft could effectively bring people back to life in digital form. It's something we've seen major Hollywood studios already beginning to do, but this would basically bring it out to where it could happen to anyone. It's a pretty crazy, scary, sci-fi sounding concept, and just like any other time something scary happens with technology, all of the internet is comparing it to Black Mirror. Scary robot, Black Mirror. My TV's listening to me, Black Mirror. I got an ad for a thing I was thinking about the other day, Black Mirror. However, in this situation, it's actually pretty appropriate because specifically in regards to using someone's social media to digitally bring them back to life, that's actually Black Mirror Episode 1, Season 2. Like, literally, that's the plot. I'm gonna go ahead and spoil the episode for you, but I'd still recommend you watch it. It's actually one of my favorites. The episode is titled Be Right Back and tells the story of Martha, a young woman whose boyfriend, Ash, is killed in a car accident. As she mourns him, she discovers an artificial t intelligence service that is capable of imitating her boyfriend, and reluctantly, she decides to try it. The AI requests social media posts, text messages, and any other lingering traces of Martha's boyfriend in order to be a more accurate recreation. Martha obliges and starts to actually obsess over this AI and even begins to use it as a surrogate for her dead boyfriend. However, at a routine checkup, Martha discovers that she's actually pregnant with Ash's child. Dismayed, she goes to the AI to be consoled and the AI suggests that she continue to develop it by feeding it even more information about her dead boyfriend. But as the AI continues to grow, eventually becoming an actual android that physically resembles her boyfriend, it becomes more and more apparent to Martha just how poor of an imitation this AI actually is. Ash's social media couldn't capture his nuances, his secret fears or hidden desires. Ash, as he presented himself, wasn't the same person that Ash actually was, and no one knew that better than Martha. Martha first saw the AI as a comforting reconstruction of her deceased boyfriend, but as time goes on, it starts to more closely resemble a haunting caricature that Martha just can't bring herself to get rid of. The end of the episode takes place several years later, after Martha and Ash's child has actually started growing up. It's the kid's birthday, and she's begging Martha for a chance to go visit the AI, the closest she's now able to get to her deceased father. It becomes apparent that Martha has actually been keeping the AI locked up in the attic and tries to limit how many other people can see it. The last shot of the episode is of Martha after she allows the girl to go see her quote unquote father and she reluctantly goes to revisit him as well. You wanna know the secret behind all the best Black Mirror episodes? The best Black Mirror episodes aren't actually about things that might happen in the future. They're about our relationship with technology today, right now. Microsoft's only patented this technology now. They don't have the technology developed yet, but that doesn't really matter because the problem Martha is dealing with in this episode is a problem people are dealing with right now and have been dealing with for quite some time now. Every time you send a message or leave a comment or post a YouTube video, you're creating a little digital version of yourself that's more than likely going to outlive you. Everything we post here will eventually be our legacy, something we leave behind to those who are still alive. No, this digital version of you won't be an accurate portrayal, but it doesn't have to be a dishonest one either. When you do write words in this place, make sure they count. Make sure they ring true. We don't have much control over what Microsoft or our friends and family will do with the digital footprints we leave behind. All we can do is make sure we're confident in the steps we take. Have a good evening, Netscape Navigators.